Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, today I, I want to share with you guys um, some things that the Spirit of God has uh, shown me, has taught me over the past couple of days. And uh, I found them very interesting and I, I, I think most of you will too. Um, this is not a video to spread fear. It's never been about fear. Perfect love cast out all fear. So if you have encountered perfect love, which is God, you've had that born again experience, then uh, then you know what I mean. Um, you know, I've always taught here lately for the past couple of years that, that uh, you know, the kingdom of God is within you, that you must be spiritually raptured to overcome. When you're spiritually raptured, that means that uh, that enemy within you has been defeated and the Christ has risen up within you. And once that happens, that, that I believe if, if, if you have defeated or if the enemy has been defeated within you, then there is nothing that this outside world can do to you. That, that everything you need to know will come to you when you need to know it and you'll know what to do when the time comes to do what you got to do so there's no reason to sit around and, and worry and, and think about things and you know what are we going to do if this happens or if that happens or that ha this happens i still catch myself doing that at times the other day i was talking to a good friend of mine home messenger this is someone that i can share anything with that is on my mind and uh he and I talk about some pretty wild things at times, and um, it felt so surreal talking to him about, about the things that are going on in this world today. It's things that I've always known since, since you know, June 14th, 2012, that, that this stuff is coming. But you kind of get relaxed. You know, and, and we all got relaxed, I got relaxed, and then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, bam, it's on us, it's here. <laughs> you know, and all those things God was showing me in the beginning are here, they're happening now. And um, it, it's so surreal to be talking to somebody about, hey, what are you gonna do if, if they come to you, you know, telling you you have to have this vaccine? You know, if you have to have this, if you have to have that, what are you gonna do, you know? and, and uh, and we were having that conversation. And yesterday, after we finished feeding the children, Pastor Darwin was riding with us in the car, and, and we were having that conversation. You know, like, what, what do we do? You know, it's not like you can really run. The roads are all there's roadblocks everywhere. There's there's checkpoints, so you can't go anywhere. The only thing we could do, you know, is you know, hike out of here at night, cross the river, and disappear into the jungle. You know, and um, but we were. It, it just it seems so surreal to be having that actual conversation with people you know because whether the the vaccines and things like that are the mark or, or you know the mark of the beast and, and you know stuff like that because i believe that the mark of the beast originally was the law it was something that, that was a spiritual mark but there's duality in everything none of us have all the answers to all this if anybody says they do run as far away from them as you can you know because none of us have all the answers so you know there's that that little bit of uncertainty but there's not fear it's not fear it's just uncertainty what what's going on and i truly believe that god when the time comes each and every one of us will know exactly what we need to do you know so that's I, i'm not sharing this video with you guys to make you worry about things like that okay but uh it just seems so surreal to be having that conversation. And on top of that, two days ago, we had a small earthquake here. It may have been three days ago. It felt like just a slow, gentle wave. It was crazy. And then this morning at three o'clock, we had an earthquake in Manila. And friends of mine on Facebook reporting it. So, um, you know, it's just kind of strange things going on around here, you know. But um, anyway, uh, yesterday, I kept seeing these two faces and their names and I kept seeing these two sets of numbers uh, I kept seeing 313 and then I was seeing 1991 and I kept hearing it's mirrored you know COVID-19 mirror it 91 
And so I was looking into that and, and I was looking into the names of these two people, to the meanings of their names. And, um, and then I looked up this one particular number, the 313 and the Strongs and the other numbers I just did a little bit of math with and uh, looked at some things in history and it blew my mind. And um, I'm gonna share that with you now. I've got some memes that I'll put up in this video for you to see and um, it, um, you know, my friend and I, when we were talking on Messenger, you know, we, we, we were saying, you know, there is something not right in this world. You know, everybody thinks that they've got it figured out by the book of Revelations and things like that. Everybody has their own ideology about what's going on. But there's something not right in this world. And um, I truly believe that, that, you know, the fallen are walking amongst us. I believe if the fallen are here, you know, Romans 8, I believe it, it, it says creation anxiously awaits the uh, manifestation of the sons of God. The sons of God in Hebrews, B'nai Elohim, the sons of El, the angels of God. And uh, I believe those of us who are born from above are born again. Um, you know, I believe we've been with God before. This, this isn't our first rodeo. And um, I believe the fallen, you know, we may have been right alongside them at one time or another and talked, communicated, may have even been friends. Who knows, they may have all been jerks and we never liked them at all, <laughs> but who knows, you know? But um, I believe the fallen are amongst us and I believe uh, that uh, the true sons of El, the loyal sons of El, are here walking in the flesh as well today and uh, when the time comes we'll be empowered to do what we got to do anyway I want to share this video with you guys these memes and let you check this stuff out it's pretty amazing or it was amazing to me and I think you'll like it All right, so now I want to get into these numbers just a little bit. The, the 313 is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's the Strong's Concordance, the Greek. Um, in the next set of numbers that I'm going to show you, that's the number 1991. And the year 1991 is pretty significant. Uh, the year 1991, George Bush made the speech that there would be a new world order. 1991 also marks the year that the World Wide Web became public. It went online. And I believe that's when AI took over. Most of us here were uh, old enough. We were alive uh, during 9-11, 2001. And uh, this number 1991 is all about 9-11. And it's been 29 years since 1991. 29. 2 is 11. 9 is 9. And you mirror that, it's 9-11. It's crazy. Told you it was crazy, right? <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> I posted some of this stuff on Facebook and... Uh, people out there that get it and there's people that don't you know um, I, I trust what God shows me I trust um, the things that the Spirit reveals to me I trust that over anything and um, I um, I 
truly believe that we're in some strange times and that, uh, you know, but I truly believe we're going to be in some magnificent times because there is going to be a huge outpouring of the Holy Spirit and there's going to be people walking empowered that are going to be breathing fire. That fire is, is the living word of God being expressed through them and, um, you know, the word of God, the living word of God is powerful and nothing can stand next to it or up against it and um, you know love conquers all so anyway I wanted to share this with you guys the future is love our logo is, is a heart with the infinity because God's love is an infinite we are the future and the future holds nothing but love in the end all of this mess, all of this chaos, all of this filth is going to be gone. It's going to be a wonderful place. I love you all. God bless.